I'm not trying to fight. I haven't been in there. <laughs> From the outside, you can see the broken glass revealing the gutted skeleton of a building that looks like a bomb went off here. It's shocking. Kevin Primacing was having dinner at Red Lobster Restaurant on Howe Avenue, located right next door to this complex of half a dozen abandoned buildings that are now a haven for the homeless. Can you imagine your children? How are you like this in your backyard, front yard? Or even your kids coming home from school? They're going to be curious. They're going to come in here. And just how many people are living here on any given night? Uh, we don't do a head count, but I would guess probably 65, 70 people. Joy Gonzalez told us she's often slept outside the building's front side, seeking shelter and a safe haven. Because I don't have enough money to pay rent. I get Social Security, 961 is not enough money no matter how you slice it, whether I buy drugs or whether I don't buy drugs. Yeah. Joy told us she's addicted to heroin and says she needs help, along with the other homeless campers here. The Sacramento Sheriff's Office has been here frequently to make arrests, and code enforcement officers have cited the property owner five times, according to Sacramento County officials. But the problem persists. It's cold and rainy, you got nowhere to go, you come here. The building owners, identified in county records as the 1420 Howe Avenue Business Center Rehabilitation LLP, have hired a security company to patrol the building. And they plan to demolish it by the end of March and transform this blighted property into a retail development that looks like this. And that would be welcome news for Kevin Primacing. I'm concerned about children, women, our properties, our property values. The businesses, they've got an investment here. The property owners here tell us they hope to have the necessary permits for demolition by the end of this month, and then construction can begin on the three new retail buildings and a senior care facility. In Sacramento, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News.